Okay. The first one, the uh, armor plating. Okay. Let's let's fast track the next one really quickly here, so we don't have to go through waiting for this. And we got it. We got the gun. Well, it looks like a strange looking gun on it. Wonder what that thing fires like. Let's take a look in a little bit. Okay, upgrade. Let's see how much does the upgrade cost. Two hundred and two thousand. Okay, great. This thing now. Ooh. Okay, so. This will soak up a whole lot of bullets. Okay. Ah. I don't really care about the horns right now. Okay, lights here. Ooh, I really like this camo, the desert one. Okay. That's you set. Proximity mine. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You gotta put your mark on it. That's a nice combination, right, guys? Okay. I need this thing to be lower. No, I don't like the extra suspension. Okay, let's make transmission. Turbo. Oh Why shit, not? look at that acceleration now. Okay. Let's upgrade the minigun. Oh yeah. Have these. Turn some heads. No, the custom tires look disgusting on this thing. Okay, bulletproof tires already in. Crew smoke. Windows. Okay. That's it. Okay. Let's see, let's see what this thing is like right now. I'm curious how fast this thing is right now. Okay, so I can drop mines. I'm really curious what the speed of this thing. How fast is this thing gonna go? Can we reach a hundred? Let's see. Usually this thing goes like 80 miles per hour without the upgrades. We've hit a hundred. Okay, the thing is de decently fast. We're at a hundred. We're at a hundred and six right now. Yeah, this thing is decently fast. I can't shoot anything out of it though, out of the sides though. Yeah, this thing is pretty fast. We're at 106 right now, and we're about to um, we're about to enter the city. Yeah, this is this might be the fastest gun running vehicle of all.
Okay. It's good. Let's test that minigun out, because I'm curious what that minigun can do, because it looks different than the other miniguns. Let's see. Here's a little bit of a test of this thing in a war zone against players. And this this wasn't um this wasn't some random guy. This this guy this guy deserved it because this guy was trolling earlier and he was attacking me and my friends. So what better way than to test a vehicle out on a troll, right? That's the people you're gonna be fighting. So right here, um, as you guys can see, this this truck, um uh, this truck can take a lot of damage, um, very powerful, very fast with the upgrades. And you can just basically run people down if they give you any problems. This guy here stands no chance against us. Look at that, he's trying hard to dodge. He doesn't stand a chance still. He's done. Okay, now here we got a test on how many people this thing can fit. I wanted to see if it fits more people than a regular insurgent. Um, it's nine people. Nine people fit in it in total. Um, there's two people in the front seat, there's three people in the back, two people in the back passenger seats, one person on the gunner, two people all the way in the back sitting on the bed in the back, and then there's two people hanging off the sides. So we have a total of nine people in this thing, and that means you can transport a lot of people really quickly with this thing. And uh, not only that, but if, if you're rolling up on somebody, and you're gonna have those two people hanging on the side shooting, plus the people on the back, and the guy in the gun, you can have some serious firepower from being thrown at your enemies. Here I had captured an incident right after this where this random tried to fire an RPG at us. And he hit us. So then I came all the way back and all of us were firing at him. He went quickly in the passive mode, but this just shows you how many people can fire from this thing at once. That's some serious firepower you can throw at your enemy. A little tip here, people can easily get knocked off this thing. Okay, right now we have the explosive damage test. Let's see how much damage this thing can take. I'm curious. One RPG. Two RPGs. Three RPGs. Four RPGs. Five RPGs. Okay, can take five RPGs, so it does have decent health as well. So this is another thing I wanted to test. I wanted to test how effective this thing would be at shooting down Hydras. Let's see. Gun. The gun already is too... Yeah, the gun can't even aim that high up in the... Air. Okay. Let's see, though. Let's see, though, if he flies a little lower. If he can. We can and here, him. I really don't notice that much of a difference between this, um... This gun and the other mini guns that I've come in contact with when firing at jets. Um, I thought this gun might be a little different, but... I haven't really noticed anything differently about this gun, and I've hit this jet a lot of times. I would expect this jet to be down by now, but it's not, and I'm not, I'm missing a lot, but I'm also hitting it a ton, I'm hitting it majority, and this jet is not, um, this jet does not want to go down, and even though my gun, my insurgent could take a lot of damage, this theoretically this would not be good in a, in a, in a jet combat situation, because this is what I always want to know, is how good these vehicles would be against a Hydra, if a Hydra ended up coming after it. This thing might be able to take a few runs from the Hydra, but it can't aim up all the way, and the day it doesn't take the thing down in a few shots. I thought that it would be able to, but it doesn't. So let's see how long this thing takes to take down.
Okay, well this took way too long, so this is not good against Hydros. We know that. And here is here is the question that I have been asked before. Can this thing be used in heists? Yes, it can. And this is def this vehicle is definitely going to be one of the most helpful vehicles in heists because everybody can fit in it. It's bulletproof for everybody except the gunner, and even the gunner has this big shield on him. So this thing, yes, this thing is definitely effective in heists. Um, I would recommend using this thing in heists if you have this thing upgraded. Use this in heists. Use this to clear out areas. Definitely very effective. Definitely very good vehicle to use. Everybody's pretty much protected shielded and you have a lot of firepower to use and if you can get two of these two of two people in each vehicle and just run in these areas you could clear these areas out during heists very easily so now let's move on let's move on to the final verdict and let's, let's look at the pros and cons of this vehicle okay so let me read off the pros this thing is very fast this thing can get over 100 miles as you guys saw it's going 100 500 6 miles per hour and um, that's much faster compared to all the other gun running vehicles it can hold nine people it has a powerful gun on it, it can drop proximity mines, and it can be used in heists. Okay, now let's move on to the cons. Okay, and now we are moving on to the cons. Okay, so the turret, um, it can't aim all the way up, as you guys saw earlier. It can't shoot all the way up, so if there's like a jet flying around, you better hope that that jet's flying at the right angle for you to fire at. Your teammates can fly out of the insurgent. Now, the, I've noticed that the gunner, it's a lot harder for the gunner to fall out of the insurgent than it is for the... Um, uh, than it is for the people that are sitting on the back and the people that are hanging on the gunner you would have to completely flip the insurgent for him to fly off but the um the people that are hanging on the side you just hit a pole or something and they'll easily or bump into another car and they'll easily fly off and the people on the back if you just tilt it to the side they'll fall off also um while my gunner my gunner has stayed on my gunner will only fall out if i completely flip it um also, switching guns costs money, so if you ever, ever want to go back to the standard machine gun, you have to pay money to do that, which is annoying. I don't understand. If you buy the other machine gun, you should be able to switch back to the other machine gun for free. And the vehicle can be expensive. It's $1,350,000 plus upgrades. I do think, though, that this vehicle is the best um, uh, gun running vehicle so far because um, it can carry so many people. It has, it has so much... Um, it, it has the power of the, mi the minigun on it. It can drop mines. Um very fast completely bulletproof on the inside it can be used in heists i mean the apc um this thing could outrun the apc if the apc ever it, the apc would not be able to catch up to this but um that's my personal opinion i think this one is probably the best gun running vehicle out of all of them that have come out but i guess each one is specializes in something different does it not um, I'm sorry this video took so long to um, to come out, guys. Um, I just had so many things come up today. I just got st uh, stalled by so many different things, and I wanted to upload the video for you guys. I'm gonna, unfortunately, I wasn't able to upload the video until tonight. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and um, my Criminal Mastermind next part is coming tomorrow, I believe. I just have to record the finale. I just have to wait for my teammates on that. I know you guys have been waiting. Love those Criminal Mastermind guys and are waiting for the next part, and I'll upload that soon. I'm going to be streaming also soon, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.